Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 37, lesson 36 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburn Clymer. Lesson 36. If we use the powers of the body for the good of the soul, we find eternal life. St. John, chapter 12, 24 through 50. 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. The grain of wheat that is kept in the garner will not bring forth fruit, but if it is buried in the earth so that it may decay, the germ which is within, the soul of the wheat, will spring forth and produce. Thus it is with man, if he looks only after the good of his body, doing only that which the carnal flesh desires, he is keeping the grain of wheat in the garner. Man must awaken to the fact that the body is given him only that it may be used for the purpose of bringing forth the germ of immortality which is within. He must think such thoughts, hold such desires, and perform such acts as will change the body into the illumined soul. Then will he find life eternal. It is the duty of man to look carefully after the welfare of the body, for the body is the temple of the living God, but he must not forget the greater interest, nor must he yield to the desires of the body when they conflict with the loftier aims and ideals of the soul. Rather must he bury or plant the body, which is to say, he must not listen to the desires of the carnal self, but must change them into the greater desires which have to do with the works of the Father. This is then like burying the grain of wheat, for it is subjecting the carnal desires, burying them so that the desires of the Son of Man may be gratified. 26. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my Father honor. To serve the Son of Man means to do the will of the Father, for if we serve, we follow. Likewise, if we follow, we serve. To do the will of the Father is to serve Him, and by serving Him, we become like Him. He will honor us in that He suffers us to become His Son. Whereas we were first carnal man, then the Son of Man, lastly and greatest, we become the Son of God. 27. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause came I unto this hour. Often when the hour for the change for the Son of Man to the Son of God comes, when final renunciation of that which is of the flesh is at hand, at this crisis, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and does not wish to give up. Then comes the hour of agony. 28. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. But if we are faithful, we will not yield to the temptation of that which is carnal. Then will come the illumination and the voice which is from heaven. For the Father has taken the seat of authority and honor upon the throne in the temple that has been purified. 29. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it, said that it thundered, others said, an angel spoke to him. 30. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. 31. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. 32. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. When we have overcome the carnal desires, we are freed or lifted up from the earth, having freed ourselves from carnal tendencies which are of the earth, and ruled by the prince of the world, we can show the way to others and thus be the means of lifting them up. 33. This he said, signifying what death he should die. 34. The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever 
And how sayest thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? 35. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. The Son of Man, which is the awakened mind, must be used for arousing the divine spark within. For the former unprofitable thoughts and desires, the awakened mind and conscious must substitute thoughts and desires which cause right acts and which tend to construct the illumined, individualized soul. Through this process is the Son of Man become the Son of God. Man cannot do this while he is in darkness, nor can he do it without knowledge of the law. But when the mind is awakened to the truth, when the Son of Man teaches, then has he the light and the guidance by which to work. 35. While ye have light, Believe in the light that ye may be the children of light. These things spake Jesus and departed, and did hide himself from them. 37. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. 38. That the sayings of Esaias, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report? And to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? 39. Therefore they could not believe, because that Esaias said again, 40. He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. 41. These things said Esaias, when he saw his glory and spake of him. 42. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. 43. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. The greatest enemy to the truth is fear. Men come to understand the law, but they fear their friends, their neighbors, their kin, their brothers in church. They fear excommunication, the dark club which is wielded by those in power. And, through this fear of the world and its options, they but destroy their own souls. He who knoweth the Lord will do the will of the Lord. He who denies the Lord, which is to say, he that does not live and act according to his understanding of the law, is not burying the flesh as a seed in the ground that it may spring up in illuminated soul consciousness and eternal life, but he is rather burying the soul into death and destruction. 44. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. 45. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. 46. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. 47. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. If we are taught the law and do not according to the law, we are not judged by him who teaches us the law, but we are judged by that great judge that keeps the book of life, whereon are written all things, all that we hear, think, desire, and do. We are judged by the conscious, which is always with us. 48. He that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. 49. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, which I should say, and what I should speak. 50. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak thereof, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. The law is from no man, but is from the Father who is the creator of all things. Under the law were all things created, and under that law must all things live. If they do not live in harmony with the law, they find their place among perishable things. For no man can live contrary to the law and attain individual immortality. The law is from the Father, and he who lives in harmony with the law will become like the Father. 
He who lives contrary to the law cannot be like the Father. He is like the earth, earthly, and lives only to die. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.